Starting as we always do with the beer. This is Two Wolves Great Plains Brown Ale from uh, Two Wolves Brewing in Regina, Saskatchewan. This claims to be a well-balanced beer with deep copper color, aroma of roasted malt, cocoa, and caramel. I think I get used to that one. So today, as you can see, I have this little flashlight here. This is the same one that I got in the mailbag uh, a week ago, two weeks ago, I guess. And it, uh, well, it's, it's a little cheapy and it came with a battery included, which makes sense because it claims to be a USB rechargeable flashlight. However, as we saw in, when I played with it in the mailbag, you give it five volts and try to charge it, but it's not drawing any current. And if I turn the flashlight on, which it is now, as you can see over here, it's still not drawing any current. And that's not that charger doctor being a piece of crap. If I unplug the flashlight and just leave the charger doctor plugged in, that's still drawing like five milliamps. So. This thing is drawing negligible amounts, if anything. Well, let's just try it. Plug it in and... Okay. It's added 5 milliamps to the load. So it's... If it is charging, it's charging so incredibly slow as to be useless. So of course the thing to do is rip it apart and see what's going on inside. I kind of knew that was going to happen as soon as I bought it, um, even before I got it. But you never know with these things. Ah, where's a spudger here? Uh, I just, I just glued in. Huh, that USB port is all rattly here. Okay, that comes off. That doesn't do anything. Okay, yeah, that doesn't do anything. I pop it apart at this end. Oh, I can actually. Okay. So there's the LED. There is what looks like a little pouch cell in there. Rattling around and there's the on off switch. Okay. So it's just using a little five millimeter straw hat LED. But I do have to punch it out the back somehow. Hmm. I'm hoping to do this without putting a spudger through my hand. So there's a couple of possibilities. This could either be a crap design, which is entirely possible with these cheap dollar things from China. Or it could just be a reasonable design, but that doesn't work for whatever reason. If that's glued, let's see if I can... Oh, there we go. Haha, -ha! success. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the little cell. Does it have a protection circuit on there? I'll have to peel that cap on off in a minute and take a look. But, uh, so what do we have here? We have the cell on there. A little resistor, a diode, a couple more resistors. Oh, there's a little surface mount LED on there. I'm going to guess that that is a charge indicator. And it actually comes on when I plug it in. Okay, okay, let's look a little bit closer here. So I've got the uh, power supply turned off right now. If I go across the cell, there's four volts there. Okay, maybe it is fully charged. It's not puffy at all. Kind of looks like it might be, but it doesn't feel like it. So, okay, so if I turn the power supply back on, and that LED is doing is running there. 4.01 volts. Hmm. No, well, maybe it is fully charged. Okay. 
I'm going to just uh, doodle out this little schematic here so we can figure out what's going on a little bit more. And while that's happening, I'm going to turn this guy on so that it'll discharge a little bit. I'll be back shortly. Okay, some time has passed. That's had a little bit of a chance to discharge. That's what's taken the most time. I actually put a resistor across it for a little while to help it, but it's down to about 3.48 volts right now. So that's a little bit better. So if it, if it charges, it should take a charge. Uh, so the schematic, uh, we got the USB port on the side here, negative and positive. The negative goes straight to the battery. Okay, it's a cell. I shouldn't have drawn it as two pieces. But anyway, so that goes down to a diode, just a regular old diode. Um, and then what do we got here? Uh, there is a resistor to back to the USB. That is 68 ohms. So that voltage drop, 0.6 volts, and this 68 ohm resistor are going to be limiting the current that can charge into this battery cell, this cell. Uh, so lithium ion cell um, tops out at about 4.2 volts, absolutely maximum, typically around four ish, right? Uh, and at the other end though, you don't want to over discharge these things, yeah? So this thing, there's nothing really protecting it from over discharging except for the LED stops conducting. Not ideal, but whatever. And in this little charging circuit, such as it is, there's nothing really that stops it from charging. Um, when theoretically, when it's charging, uh, if it's, if the battery is pretty much depleted down to like 2.2, 7 2.8 volts something like that which is lower than you should take them but that's kind of the lower safe limit um it's going to be drawing 50 milliamps through this whole shooting match which is reasonable enough for charging but when this thing is at its full voltage 4.2 volts plus the 0.6 volts that's 4.8 volts so you still got two tenths of a volt to drop across this resistor here so that's still going to be like a couple of tenths of a milliamp it's not ideal, but it's not going to boil that thing. And presumably you're not going to leave it on charge for weeks at a time. I don't know. Maybe you will. Anyway, the, so that's the, oh, I guess the, uh, the other thing is the, uh, charge indicator, which is just that, uh, 2K resistor, 2000 ohms and a little red LED there. So that's drawing negligible amounts of current. So that's the charge indicator. Now then, over on this side, we have the diode that is the flashlight diode, this little white guy here. Um, and when it's running, I measured it at 3.3 uh, .3 volts, which is reasonable enough. Um, so that's enough to get full brightness out of a fully charged light, or fully charged uh, lithium ion. Then it's got a small current limiting resistor of 10 ohms in it. And then there is the switch. That's the entire flashlight. No, wait, stop. That's wrong. That doesn't go there. It goes there. Otherwise, it would obviously not work. You guys caught that, right? Okay, back to the video. Let's just pretend this didn't happen. So... There's nothing really stopping the charging. There's nothing stopping the discharging, except for this LED is eventually going to stop conducting once it gets too low. It well, its current's going to drop way down, and yeah, it's this is not ideal. But for, what do you expect for like a, a dollar something little uh, a little flashlight? So that's that part out of the way, and that was fairly easy. Like I said, it, what took the longest time was uh, running this battery down a little bit here. So now we'll just pull this this all back in here. So this thing is showing 4.98 volts, close enough to 5. Uh, 0.6, no, what is that, 6 milliamps, which is 
what this charge doctor is drawing. So when I plug that in, this does climb up some. What is that? Seven milliamps charging current, roughly. And then this cell, now that it's uh, under char being charged. Actually, where's that charge resistor? That's probably a better thing to do. So that's 700. No, it's okay. So that's 0.7 volts across that 68 ohm charge resistor, which is this one right here, 0.7 over, what did I say it was? 68 ohms. So that's charging at 10 milliamps. And what did we say over here? 12 or 13 with that out and actually let's plug it directly in so that's zero with nothing plugged in yeah that's about right okay so that's going to charge very very slowly which doesn't bother me at all but this thing actually does recharge it's it's about the cheapest little circuit you could possibly do for that job, but it does seem to do the job. Now that little cell is eventually, if you leave it plugged in forever, and if you leave it turned on forever, it is eventually going to kill that cell. But what do you want for, you know, the dollar something I paid for it? Now then, can I fit it back in its case? That should be an interesting challenge. Oh, I was going to look at that cell and see if it had charging protection in it, didn't I? Or discharge protection. Yeah. Let's do that. Oops. Poking at a lithium cell with a little metal thing is probably not recommended. But hey, you do you. Um, what else we got in here? Do I have any plastic to poke at that with? Use my ceramic tweezers. Oh, no, there's no protection in there. That just comes straight off the cell. Okay. I guess that shouldn't surprise me. I will go back to what I was saying that this thing is eventually going to kill this little cell. But I'm not bothered because it was super cheap. And it is quite actually quite bright. For just a little straw head LED. Well, that wasn't what I expected to find in there. It was kind of neat to see what's going on inside such a cheap little rechargeable flashlight. And it is what it says it is. It is a USB rechargeable flashlight that actually works. So I'm just going to charge that guy back up and yeah, another flashlight to add to the collection. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative or comedic or at least not a waste of your time. Um, Thanks as always for watching, um, comments and questions down below in the comment section. Um, and yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you later.